I'm here again with another product review and this time it's a coil cream now I've been searching for a coil cream that can actually define my coils or my really kinky hair now for those who are not sure what definition of coils mean it's when your hair has this really glossy look no matter how kinky your hair is your hair has this real nice glossy look and it's not fuzzy or all over the place it's just nice and tamed and that's the look that I've been trying to achieve and so far I've only tried um, this product that I'm going to give a review on and I also have tried the Lustre's um, S-Curl Moisturizer and that didn't work the way I expected it to work although it left my hair really soft and if you want to see the review that I did on that product you can check in the description bar below now the name of this is it's by soft sheen carson firstly and it says soft sheen carson it's new by the way soft sheen carson roots of nature remedies for natural hair mango oil and capacho or capacu butter butter whip coil cream it says deeply nourishes and defines kinky curls now i tried this and I read the instructions and they told you how to use it and they say that the best way to use it is when your hair is like soaking wet I did exactly what they told me to do and I put a product in the first thing that I realized it feel it felt good in my hair yes and it's very white I'm going to show you the consistency of it this is how it looks this is how it looks and it's very thick very white very thick and i put it in my hair and the product felt good and everything and i was you know trying to clump my coils together and in my opinion it wasn't doing that especially since my hair fuzzes a lot and it started to roll my coils up so instead of uh my hair being very fuzzy the coils started rolling up so when my hair started drying, my head looked like a big mat, especially after the product dried. Now, not only did it feel like a mat, and usually the common mat feels very stiff, and that is how my, health, my hair felt very stiff. So my hair was still fuzzy, because I do have fuzzy hair. My hair was still fuzzy, and the curls did start to, they did roll up but it didn't roll up simultaneously like um together it was just it rolled up my hair rolled up separately so my hair was like my hair just fell flat into a mat and it was stiff and then my hair type is 4a to the edge my hair i have three types of hair I have three types of hair type. I have 4A, 4B, and I have a 3B, 3C kind of hair. So that's like four. I'm actually looking at the chart right now because I'm not really familiar with the hair types and I thought it wasn't important, but it is important when it comes to giving reviews and um, trying different products. So I have, my hair is like really, all over the place my hair type so to the ends and to the back it's a mixture between 4a and 4b and the middle here it's a mixture between 3b and 3c so because of the 3b 3c thing happening in the middle here it's very fuzzy and how the ends are and they're like straight they get straight after a while and they start to stick out so that was an epic fail and the product took very long to dry i didn't blow dry but i did apply the product product in at around one o'clock in the day i don't have in any product in my hair right now but i did put in the product at around 1 a.m in the day and up until six o'clock my hair still had white stuff in there that's how long it took to dry i got tired and i was like you know i don't even like how my hair looks i'm gonna comb it out surprisingly and the good thing about it is that after I combed out my hair, my hair got really soft and I like that about it. 
they did say that the best way to use this product when I read the how to use section they did say the best way to use this product was for like a, a twist out or you know you style your hair and then you let it out in whatever style you had it in that's the best way that they said to use this product and it did work like that because I did do a twist out and it did make my hair feel really great but as a coiling cream it doesn't work for my type of hair alright so I did after I put it in and I expected it to you know give my coils definition and start clumping them together and it didn't work like that I tried um, finger coiling my hair and it finger coiled it um, okay but I didn't want to finger coil my hair I just wanted to try it like a wash and go you know you wash your hair you just apply some product it really it makes it look really nice suitable for the public when you go out there and it didn't do that for me um, the smell of it it's really tropical I like I don't mind the, the smell of it at all uh, I think I did another twist out after the twist out that I did when it didn't work and it works very nicely for that like if your hair is longer and you just want to put it up in a protective style or you want to put it up in a updo style or something like that it works fine for that but as I said before it doesn't coil my hair maybe it may coil someone else's hair the way that they want it to be coiled so um, I wouldn't buy this back again for coiling my hair and I was given a suggestion for another product that I can use for coiling my hair I'm gonna try that but for now I'm going to stick to gel and I did a video about um, styling really short natural hair with eco gel that video I'm gonna post the link for it down below it was a very sleek chic style for natural hair especially when you're when you've just cut off your hair and your hair is extremely short and persons have been commenting on the video and saying that you know gel is bad for your hair and it's too much gel but where I live these products are very expensive luckily I only purchased this for like a thousand dollars and a thousand dollars in uh, Jamaican in US it's around eight um, dollars luckily I got it for that price but on average the really good products that can work or you think may work in your hair on average costs like 20 us where i live and sometimes you buy the product and it doesn't work and all that money that you spent on the product goes down the drain you know so that is why i like using gel gel is affordable you know that it will work and it's not a situation where i'm going to put the gel in my hair and then comb it out without washing the gel out before putting a comb through my hair and that is how gel actually does a lot of damage to your hair and if you used to cream your hair when you were a child um, the style was to cream your hair and then you take gel to you know make it sleek and then you would come home in that same day you comb the gel out and your hair would start breaking that was the style back in the day but I don't do that and my hair is natural it is naturally when your hair is in its natural state it's strong so all of the people who are commenting on the video and saying oh gel is bad gel is this gel is that i understand it's not like gel is like kryptonite is gel that bad for your hair is gel like a chemical would it break your hair if you just put it in there leave the style for a few days and then you wash it out I see a lot of youtubers online using gel every time they style their hair especially to um, make their edges look sleek so I know that persons don't want to use gel but sometimes depending on the type of hair you have and the affordability gel is the best thing that you can use to make your hair to give your hair like a certain def definition for your coils or to give it a certain sheen or whatever right now the style that I have my hair in I use gel not on the cane roll but on the coils I did coil my hair it's not a finger coil I just did 
like a technique and I got my hair to coil like this using gel and I'm not running a comb through my hair every day all day I haven't combed my hair since I put my hair in this style so when I'm ready to change the style of course I'm gonna wash the gel out thoroughly so it's okay to use gel even though it's not um, as little as you'd want it to be even if you use a lot of gel I don't think that gel is gonna break your hair off like that I it that's I've been using gel for years in my natural hair in, in its natural state and it hasn't done it anything because I use it the right way put it in there I leave the style when I'm ready to change the style I wash my hair out so gel is not like the enemy you know this is my review on the mango oil and kapaku butter by soft sheen carson as i said it's not the best thing for coiling really kinky hair but it does make your hair soft and it does work for twist outs um before you go check out my other channels i have other channels here on youtube you can check them out by clicking on the links down below and don't leave without subscribing uh that's all for now i'll see you when i see you Don't leave without subscribing. Click on the link to check out my previous video.